right? Okay. So today I will speak to you about the metaverse, right? Um, why it's so important, why it's happening now, and some of the features, right? I'll keep this brief because I think probably it's Freshers' Week and everybody wants to go and party. If not, we can always go and party, no problem, right? So next slide, give it to me. Thank you. So Ready Player One, who has seen this movie? Kind of have one, two, ah, three, four, there you go. So for the ones that haven't seen it, I'm gonna give you a brief summary of it. But if you've seen Ready Player One, The Matrix, or probably Tron, you have a really good idea, a really good Hollywood idea for what the metaverse is. So, it takes place in 2045, and our main character, Wade, uh, escapes his dull reality by entering a virtual reality. And he's able to play, socialize with friends, and interact with other people, um, all in virtual reality, all right? Now, why is this relevant? This is happening today. This is happening as we speak. We're starting to see the fragments of the metaverse today. It's real. So, next slide. So, what is the metaverse? The metaverse, for a lack of a better term, is the natural progression of the internet. The full vision of the metaverse is fictional and uh, probably many decades away, but we're starting to see the pieces right now for me. Next slide, please. So, why is it important? All right, let me bring your attention to this. I put some numbers here for you, might be too small, but these are the top 10 companies, right, by market capitalization. From these companies, eight of them have to do with the internet, all right, fair, fair enough. And from those eight companies, at least five of them, and I've highlighted them in purple, are forming some sort of technology around the metaverse. The metaverse will be a trillion dollar industry and you can all of us be involved from now. All right? New companies, products and services will emerge to manage everything from payment processing, identity verification, hiring, ad delivery, content creation, security and so forth. More broadly, the metaverse will change how we change how we allocate and, and monetize modern resources. Next slide, please. All right. And for that reason, the metaverse has become the biggest macro goal for many of those companies. For example, Epic Games, which is the maker of the Unreal Engine and Fortnite, has said that they only work on metaverse. Or more recently, Facebook, uh, which they own Oculus VR, and now they have Horizon Virtual Meeting Space. They want to be the next metaverse company. So the tens of billions that will be spent on cloud gaming and metaverse over the next decade is based on the belief that such technologies will underpin our online, but also offline virtual future. Next, please. So why now, right? Metaverse is a puzzle. All the components need to come together to create the bigger picture. From hardware to computational capabilities to virtual platforms, everything plays a role within the metaverse. And at this point in time, we're starting to see some of the connections made between those components, which are giving us a glimpse of the metaverse. Until recently, we did not have a full-blown digital economy that could accept microtransactions or digital ownership, NFTs. Until recently, our videos were still buffering. Uh, actually, they're still buffering. Uh, and we could not play games with hundreds of people at the same time. Next, please. So bear with me, this is a big slide, features. But I think it's probably the most important of all. So our metaverse will be persistent. 
It never resets, it never pauses, it never ends. It doesn't wait for anyone, right? For example, Travis Scott has given a concert on Fortnite. If you missed it, just like in real life, you simply missed it. It just happened. Or it will be without any cap to users, while also providing each user with an individual sense of presence. Everyone can be part of the metaverse and can participate in a specific event, place, or activity together. It will also be a fully functioning economy. Individuals and businesses will be able to create, own, invest, and sell, and be rewarded for an incredibly wide range of work that produces value. And it will offer unprecedented interoperability of data. So your Fortnite gun skin will be able be, to be transferred into your Call of Duty video game and your Rocket League car will be able to be driven on Grand Theft Auto. Today, the digital world, and I mean every store or game, acts as if they're in their own silo, behind their very own walls, and that won't be the case anymore. Next slide. Right. So platforms, so I stopped myself from putting every metaverse that I know, because it was gonna be too busy, and I kept it to the metaverse platforms that are crypto related one way or another. So, and by the way, not all of the platforms are video games. For example, Spatial here is virtual meeting rooms. Decentraland can offer so much more than just game. It's a new way to socialize, Network is doing an amazing job in digital land, which are gonna add a bit later. Crypto voxels, amazing in showcasing virtual art, and so much more. Next slide. So let's begin, avatars. Your metaverse begins with your avatars. This is your digital presence, which fortunately, or unfortunately, is more important than your physical presence. Think about it. More people see your digital presence than they're actually gonna meet you. And their companies know that. So that's why Dolce & Gabbana is selling virtual suits, right? Gucci is very selling all sorts of virtual clothes and so many more. And these companies are working with the biggest players in the industry, such as Dapper Labs, to produce these avatars, which can be as real or fantastical as you wish. Next slide, please. And then we'll go into digital land. People are starting to trade digital land just like real land. For example, an owner of virtual land in network can have full rights to their land. You can hold, sell, or rent your land without the need for central authority. As the metaverse develops, Virtual land will serve as the base for users to create, build, and deploy everything from storefronts for e-commerce to self-made games as well as interactive and educational experience. To give you an example of how, this, how big this is, Network has sold 12 million worth of virtual land in the past couple of months and some of it sold in seconds. Next slide. Talking about big numbers, by the way, too many zeros, right? The largest digital land to date was from Decentraland to Republic Real for almost $1 million, right? That's enough to buy a few houses in some other countries, and maybe here as well. Um, Republic Real is backed by Binance and Process, who know the, big, the value of the metaverse, and for that reason, they're investing in virtual land. Next slide, please. And digital real estate. Let me give you an example of what's happening today. People are buying or renting digital land. And on top of it, they're placing buildings where they can socialize with their friends, right? And they can play games together. People are starting to replace their physical presence with their avatars. And they're having vlogs and podcasts through their avatars, not through their physical 
real presence, right? We have been starting to see digital mortgages. Yes, digital mortgages. Vera, a decentralized NFT lending platform, will allow virtual land buyers to purchase virtual land with the help of mortgages and a down payment, of course. But that's only the beginning. As mentioned before, Facebook offers virtual meeting rooms, and Zoom is playing with the same idea as well. And now, let's think about it. Last year was pretty dull. Nobody went to uni, which some people might be happy about that, but nobody went to work as well. And everybody was working in front of their screens, right? That's about to change. Because you're gonna be able to add your VR glasses and work together with others, while being at home. And you can work together in virtual workplaces and see your colleagues and actually speak to them while you're in the same virtual room. And if, you, if you're me, you can even mute them. I'm already losing two people over there, it's okay, no worries. And, next slide please, Renovi. All this brought together brings me to Renovi and why we created Renovi, okay? We created Renovi to be the first NFT marketplace for architects and 3D designers. We have all the metaverses out there, they exist, they have their own marketplaces, but this is the metaverse, this is the marketplace to build the first interwearable metaverse where buildings, yeah, you design, all right, will be able to be put on this marketplace and sold to every metaverse. Do you have any architects here? No? Maybe 3D designers? No problem. They can build the future and they can build it through us, all right? We can help them do that. Or anybody who is interested in 3D design. Last slide, please. So today we spoke about digital everything, right? We talked about avatars, we talked about land, we talked about real estate, we talked about the experiences. And primarily we talked about the metaverse, which is happening today, and we start to see glimpses of it today. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. I'm here to answer all of them. Thank you. Next slide. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much, Adonis. That mm -hmm. was a wonderful presentation. Um, are there any questions? Is there any? Okay. Oh, there you go. Just a moment. Ah, give them that one. Give them the other one. And I'll shout. Don't worry. Hi. Um I just wanted to know how easy is it for someone who doesn't have any experience in architectural 3D design, mm -hmm. how easy is it for them to get involved in this as well? All right. Um, huh? I'll, I'll get the microphone so everybody can hear. I'll tell you how difficult it is. It's as difficult as going to Udemy and finding a course for about less than two hours to learn how to create 3D designs. My brother has learned to create 3D designs on twin motion in about 40 minutes, right? So you can be the next architect and, might, and you might be one of the best ones because you're not limited by what you've been taught. Your, your, your imagination is what can create these amazing designs that you have, right? And the metaverse doesn't, doesn't follow any rules of physics. So it can be as crazy as your imagination, right? 3D, 3D programs, so many out there. Just pick the one that suits you and just start creating. Anybody else? You, I'll, I'll go to you, I'll go to you. There you go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you think it's quite sad that people are moving towards digital kind of like realities instead of like real life? I mean, it does contribute to a lot of depression and mm -hmm. isolation and loneliness. So I appreciate like the whole digital uh, landscape, but I do worry that um, young people are being dragged into this and they're kind of moving away from reality. Okay. I love your question, by the way. Like, I'll come over here so everybody can see. 
really amazing question and it is a problem but we need to think of it a bit in a bigger picture right is a phone can isolate you but it can also connect you with so many people it's how you use the technology that matters right so if you don't actually feel really well about how you look how you feel you can create your digital presence how you want to be there's actually this um, it's, it's by Fox TV, okay, which is really interesting. And it's about avatar singing, which is real people that were feeling so afraid to sing in front of people. And it's actually happening and they're showcasing what they can do to people right behind the screen and how they look different, but it's who they want to be. So I do understand what you're saying and it's absolutely, absolutely correct, but it's you need to use it in the best way possible, the technology that exists, instead of isolating you. It's like the phone. The first time the phone was created, it's like, oh, but I can go and actually meet the person. Correct, but sometimes you cannot. My mom is in Cyprus and I call her every other day just because I can. Now I can also FaceTime her, and that's step number two. And now I can maybe sit next to her. More question? No way. That's great. Thank you very much. And thank you, Adonis. Mm -hmm. Thanks for a wonderful presentation. Thank you. My colleague is going to introduce our next